Hello everyone, this is Intro to DeFi, and in this video we're gonna learn how to add optimism to the MetaMask, how to bridge, what bridges to use, and what are the advantage and disadvantage of them. It's gonna be a fast-paced video, so buckle up. So firstly, we need to add optimism mainnet to the MetaMask. For this, you can come to this website. I will put it in the description below. Click connect, or you can manually enter the data to your MetaMask, but I will choose this option as it's faster and click approve and switch network and we are in the optimism mainnet. After we add network, we can use different bridges. Let's talk about the main bridge first. With main bridge, you can transfer any token. Depositing and withdrawing is different, so let's start with depositing. You can either use the standard or custodial option. With custodial, you need to trust optimism with your funds, but it costs very little and transfers in one minute. With trustless bridge, it's more safe as it's trustless, but it costs more and transfer in 20 minutes. I generally use custodial to cut fees, but if you look for safer option, use the trustless one. There's also third party options where you can send faster and from any VM chain, but I will talk about them later. To withdraw, if you use the official bridge, you can withdraw any tokens, but it takes seven days. It costs almost nothing, but it takes seven days. Waiting for seven days is long. So let's see what the third party bridges are. There are three main bridges, Stargate, Synapse, and Hop. All of them works with the same principle. So I will just talk about Synapse protocol, but you can use any one of them if they have good enough liquidity. So there's liquidity on both parts of the chains with the same token, LPs get some fee and you can transfer almost instantly compared to seven days. It's like paying for fast pass ticket on Disneyland, not to wait for the line, but it doesn't cost as much as that of course. I don't suggest bridging to optimism with the third party bridges as main bridge is fast and cheap for that, but you can withdraw from optimism from that, from those bridges in order not to wait for seven days. So for both withdrawals and deposit, you can choose the chain you want to deposit from or transfer to. For example, we can choose, we can switch networks. We can choose different tokens. We can choose different chains, etc. So for example, let's choose Optimism to Ethereum mainnet, but from Synapse protocol. So you can see the fee here, you can see the slippage, etc. If you don't have that token, you can either swap on DEXs. For example, if you want to swap transfer USDC, what happened? Let's refresh. If you want to swap USDC from Optimism to Phantom, let's say, you can swap your Ethereum for USDC in Veldrum Finance and transfer it to Phantom Opera Mainnet. And of course, there's always centralized exchange option as the third option and the cheapest option. You can use Binance to send ETH or OP to and from Optimism Network. Your vault address is the same with your Ethereum address. You can buy ETH from Binance and send it to Optimism or OP from Binance and send it to Optimism. But don't forget that you are paying fees with Ethereum on Optimism mainnet. And after you send via crypto network, select Optimism etc. You just send it to Optimism mainnet. Just don't forget that you are choosing the Optimism network, Optimism mainnet network. And that's it. That's all for the starter guide. You can always look to DeFi Lama for DeFi protocols on Optimism or watch my other videos to learn more about Optimism or how to farm etc. The TVL right now is very close to $1 billion. It's just heating up. Synthetics and Veldrom is very active 
on optimism and Aave is the top protocol on optimism. And I know it's getting boring but don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps me to pass the YouTube algorithm if this video helped you. Thank you for listening. See you in the next video. Goodbye.